right, it has been a while since we've done a flight, and we are right now in the middle of some trees in a parking lot, and probably going to have to go through the grass to get turned around here. Let's see if we can do a 360 to the left here. Get spun around. Um, so after doing the race in uh, the next gen, I just started reading on Dover, and oddly enough, I thought Dover was a lot bigger of a city than it is. Um, and was kind of surprised to see that it is actually small. So I decided, hey, let's go do a little flight, check out the track and uh, the town, and maybe head north in Delaware and see what this is like. Um, I've been to De Dover, and it was to... Well, I landed at the Air Force Base, and then I also took off from the Air Force Base, and uh, I didn't actually land or fly. I was just a passenger, but uh, yeah, I don't really remember a whole lot about it. I know when we got there, it was in the middle of the night, and I uh, we had to take a shuttle like to DC, so I don't remember a whole lot about it, plus that was nearly 20 years ago now, so... Uh, the brain has forgotten most things. But we're going to go check this place out, see what Delaware has to offer, and uh, maybe see some interesting stuff. I haven't done any research on what's around here, so I will probably miss something if there is anything like a racetrack or anything around. Um, just going for a flight, because... We haven't done this in a while, and I want to do some flying. And I didn't have another race to put out today, so we got a bit of a crosswind as we try to get this thing up, and we got to get going up, up, and up to get over these trees. Looks like we're good there. Start gaining some speed now. And I believe the racetrack was back that way. So, so I feel like this is comfortably going up. It's pretty choppy right now. Not the frames, but the air is uh, definitely a bit rough. So I think that is the racetrack over there. I'm sure it is a bit out of date. It probably has more stands than they have right now in real life. But high racing is the same, so let's go take a look at that. Coast is right there. This thing trimmed out a bit so we can uh, go outside. So this is photogrammetry, I believe. Looking at it from here, I think it starts right about there. Some of this stuff is AI, and then it gets into photogrammetry. But yeah, the racetrack is uh, the biggest damn thing around surprising. This town is very small though compared to what I thought it was. The track doesn't look too terrible though. The photogrammetry is uh, pretty good and there's not a whole lot of weird crazy objects with this track. Pretty cool to see though. Got the Air Force Base down there and uh, let's hop in and make sure we're not plummeting to the ground. Got 
the interstate right next to it. Though it doesn't look like you can get on and off right there, but that's probably a good thing. So there is Dover. Uh, let's figure out what direction we're headed. I assume we're going north this. Yep. We'll just, uh, I guess, head up this coast. out if there's anything. It's crazy how small this town is. I know there's a bit more to it back there, but for having a mile racetrack and an Air Force base, there's not a whole lot built up around here. But it's also old land that uh, probably doesn't get sold off too often. That kind of looks like something. I don't know what it was. I don't think it's a racetrack, but maybe a horse track. You gotta remember rich people are around here. Like a training. to be. There's the airport we just took off from, and we will head north. Let's go over to the coast. I don't even know how long it would take to get all the way to the north, but we'll head that direction. I don't know, stay on the interstate or stay on the coast? Everyone makes fun of Nebraska for being flat, but it's pretty damn flat as well. Zoom out here on the map real quick, just to get an idea of where we're at. I assume that is... Alright, so to the left of us is Chesapeake Bay forgot that that was a thing on the left side of this. And then, I don't know what this is actually called, other than the ocean, but I'm sure it's got some name to it. Really, not a whole lot. Looks like it's just wetlands out here. Another horse training track. Got an airport up there, I'm guessing military. Let's go ahead and pop the altitude hold on. What is our altitude? 2,500? Maybe there'd be some coastal communities or, uh, I don't know, private beach, beach houses, but I didn't know what to expect, really, and uh, looks like this is just a lot of farmland, and it's weird creeks and everything going into that. Take a look at the actual map here. Looks like we can follow this all the way up to. I don't even know what some of these towns are. Like I said, I don't know this area very well. That's an interesting little 
area there, but I think that's a bit far away. ILG, not sure what that would be. Let's look it up real quick. Wilmington. All right. I guess that is closer than I thought it would be. Looks like we got a port just here on the other side of this bay. get to quite a bit of town in a second. Yeah, definitely a port here, and then lots of residential area. I actually don't know if this is a... It looks like it's a port, but I don't I actually see anything. Now, sometimes, you know, docks and stuff going out into the water get covered by water and flight sim. Might be a power plant or something, too. I don't know. It's got a weird look to it. Eh. Something there. Hard to tell with AI generation. Not a whole lot of land, though, in between the uh, two bits of water. Yeah, just a lot of wetlands. So we'll just keep heading up this direction, Wilmington. I have no idea about that town. If it has anything interesting. be able to get to. Again, this was just a... Oh, there we go. I guess we're going to go to Philly. That'll work. Definitely get to Philadelphia. That is very close. I believe that was the weird little island thing on the map. Alright, well, I haven't flown there, so it'd be cool to check that out. Let's head to the left just a little bit here. And it does not like to do that. Let's drop a bit of altitude as well. Check out this town a bit closer. It looks like it's photogrammetry, so might be able to see anything interesting if there is such a thing in Delaware. Dover's just a weird place for a track. Like, I don't know. Thinking about it now, it's just like, you have to come up and around to get to it. I don't think there's any big bridge over the bay, so... That is going to be Philly, Oops, up over there, I think, or maybe it's further down. No, that is, this is all just right on top of each other, just blends one into the other. Get down to about... 1,500.
here and anything interesting around here. I haven't even really seen much residential yet. We got the airport, we got downtown. Alright, that's not Philly. Philly's definitely further away. Unless I'm completely losing my mind. Got what looks to be a motocross track. A couple of them, maybe. A little go-kart track over there. When you, uh, your whole life revolves around racing, everything looks like a racetrack, so. Well, let's do a hard right, because it doesn't look like there's a whole lot here. up the map real quick so you can see it. Yeah, we got a bit to go to Philly, but uh, we'll definitely make it there, no problem. Fly over the airport. Looks like we got a mall and then a whole bunch of stuff being built right next to it. whole area looks really good with photogrammetry but then you can see where it ends with the well now I think that's actually still photogrammetry but definitely the far grain you can tell Yards. Looks like it. Random tall building. I assume is a hotel. That they designed in the shape of a V. Who knows what reason? Yeah, this game is just awesome. All right, I think this is downtown Wilmington. Like, I do more flying over Nebraska and uh, do videos of it, but everything there is a bit boring to random people. I think this is a little better to watch as I try to figure out things and say stupid stuff. Yeah, that is definitely downtown. And then this is definitely some bigger cities up there as well, so. Biggest city in Delaware. Got a little baseball park down there. It's actually a uh, fairly decent sized downtown. Not a whole lot of tall, tall buildings, but quite a few larger ones. Uh, maybe a power plant over there. And, uh... Look, crossing interstates here, or highways, whatever they're going to be. Let's go ahead and get just slightly more east. I 
I assume everything in Philly is going to be by the river, sports-wise. And let's drop our altitude again just a bit. And we'll slow down as we get there. I really wish you could lock onto these and then scroll. All right, so I think Philadelphia Union's new MLS park is right by that big ass bridge. But I highly doubt that it is in the game. But I'm guessing there's also a bunch of big ass bridges across this, so uh, that might not be the right big ass bridge. Starting to get a bit choppy down here. They're gaining quite a bit of speed too. And I forgot to do this. There we go. Now we got a better accurate height. That's why everything seemed like we were a lot higher than we were because we were a lot higher than we were. I have to get the pressure right. All right, that's close enough now. So we got a high school down here, I think. Maybe a small college. Can't read that. And then just industrial zones. Got a bunch of coal laying around there, maybe. Refinery. I, this game, like, if you, if you told me 20 years ago that we would have something that could do this, be able to just get this much accuracy, it's just nuts. Well, I think they actually have the stadium built or is in the process of getting built. Looks like might be in the process of being built, but hard to tell with photogrammetry when you are this far away. Let's slow down just a bit more. It's a really cool scene though when you watch the highlights. And yeah, it's built. It must be not as new as I thought it was. Or the photogrammetry is really updated. Anytime you have overhang though, photogrammetry struggles with that, but I mean, a really, really cool, unique view. I don't know what the hell that building is. It's kind of ominous looking. And what is this? How much can I slow down? Slow it down a bit more. Maybe flaps out. Horse track. It looked paved for a moment, but uh, it is gravelly dirt. Obviously, having a bit of an issue with where they're saying a little inlet is. Container yard. Got the airport. Make sure I haven't slowed down too much. We haven't even got to the, like, cool parts. That stadium, though, is clear the hell out of town, isn't it? I mean, I know that happens, but... Shit, that is a long ways away from all the others, because I assume those are at least a little closer to the city. Maybe up over here. Alright, so everything's struggling a bit with graphics right now. 
That's why slowing down a bit is going to help. We'll sit inside for a while to help it out. Got some hills off over there. I mean, we took off from Dover 25 minutes ago. We're already to Philly. And we're not in something that fast, so... This whole area is just condensed on top of each other compared to what I am used to. I'm going to assume stadiums are over here, but we'll head this way since we're going that way. It looks just like there's a river just on the other side of downtown as well, so... Quite a bit of industrial area. The airport's quite large. Two towers. So let's just head back over to the river and then circle it up. We'll go check out all these bridges that actually don't look as cool as they should because photogrammetry puts something underneath them. Because it's trying to make a 3D object out of aerial photos. We got some water over the roads. Hard to clean that up though. Well, so far, uh, Philadelphia is just one big industrial zone coming in from this direction, but that's always going to be the case next to water. there and that'll take you back out into that bay doesn't look like there's much of anything around here some golf courses down here kind of a weird little area there and then we got the stadiums so glad I came over at this Looks like all of them. Slow it down, take a clo closer look. Not very scenic of an area. We got a soccer field on there. Baseball Stadium. Fairly close, though, to the downtown. Let's head up north now. Lots of docks right along here. Start getting into a bit of residential. Everything is very square, except for a few crossroads and very tightly packed area. But this place is an old, old ass city compared to Omaha and everything else, so.
whole bunch of rundown looking baseball fields in the middle of town here. And some very large buildings. What the hell is that thing? Just as we get here, we get a little bit of uh, low clouds, so. Pretty cool looking downtown, though. What the hell is this building? Someone's gonna have to explain to me what this is. Train station? Massive, whatever it is. Or is it just a mall in the middle of the city? Good looking town, though. That looks like uh, heading over to the newer area. Got a field on top of a... Uh, that might be a old school prison. Or a high school. Hard to tell. Tulsa? Not Tulsa, Jesus. Temple. That was the dumbest thing I've said. Alright, well let's go this direction and find a place to land, because I think that's long enough of a video. I see a lot more than I thought we were going to see. Temple University back there. Nice little screenshot right there. Got a little bit of rainbows go through clouds. That is an odd shaped building. I'll just go with church. place to land. We got out here. KPNE. That's where we're landing. If we can find it. Autopilot off. Right there, I'm gonna assume that's it. Oops. Not the one I wanted. Yeah, that's definitely it. Which way the wind? Northeast Philly. Working right. This is why I don't normally use it. Tower November five four eight eight six one thousand six hundred feet to land. November five four eight eight six tower. Altimeter three zero decimal one nine Wind two two three at one five. Make left down wind runway two four. Fly left down wind runway two four eight eight six. All right, two four is going to be that one going the other way. We'll just come around and land heading back there. I think, unless I'm getting it backwards. Still just a lot of these row houses.
whole of Philadelphia is that, it looks like. That's what I'm taking away from this flight. There's no such thing as a house in Philadelphia. It's just these uh, square buildings. Got another airport up that direction. Up. Really, though, I mean, 36 minutes to go from Dover to the other side of Philadelphia. That is crazy that everything is that close. I'm sure on the ground it takes a long time, but. Tailwind kicking us across here. Ground speed 170 right now. We'll get slowed down very quick though. I think this has got a uh, extremely quick slowdown to it when I pull the power off. There's the runway that we're going to be landing at that we're going with right now. so that we can slow down and should be able to drop the gear in a second to make that go away instead of hitting the button. Go. Go ahead and go click a flaps here. Got a bus barn down there. Those are easy to spot. Just off the tip of the wing up just a bit. A little low right now. Not a real pilot, so we're doing it my way. That's a really cool view, though. Downtown, in sight like that, in the clouds. They're dropping altitude like crazy right now. Okay, that slowed down a lot more than I was ready for, but we're fine. Actually, a fairly big airport. I'm surprised there isn't one a little closer to town other than the international. So I'm wondering how much general aviation flies out of the international airport. Bit high. Just a bit long, I think, but maybe. Yo, man, we just dropped like a rock there at the end. Air pocket or something just sunk us. That was a that was a heavy hit. It's not how you want to do it. Looks like general aviation is over there. This looks more like what's off there. Doesn't even look like it might be part of the airport.
Flight to one two one decimal seven eight eight six. And I don't have any AI aircraft on, so we're not even going to contact ground. We're just going to find our way over there to the general aviation. It's good though. I uh, been kind of wanting to fly for a bit, and um, really didn't have time and updates, 11 gigs of updates that I had to get, and game crashed once, and so, glad we got a flight in, and, uh, gonna just do some random flights, I think, whenever I feel like it. Um, the racetrack ones were good, but then a lot of the racetracks looked pretty terrible. I tried to include one, this one, with uh, Dover, and knew that it was going to be photogrammetry. But, uh, yeah. Maybe I'll try. I've never done a flight across the U.S., so I might do that, but I don't know. It's hard to find time, especially soccer season going on and work and doing all the damn racing that I'm doing, but maybe we'll do it, or maybe we'll just keep randomly ending up doing things. It's... Flight sim is very difficult to trust to work most of the time. Looks like we're just going to park with the wind. Um, it does really good, and then it goes to crap sometimes. But, yeah, that was a good flight. I forgot to turn the fuel pumps off that whole time. No big deal. We're not trying to be... 100% accurate. But, yeah. Good flight. Saw some interesting stuff. And didn't take a whole lot of time. So, uh, hopefully it was interesting. Something different. Always good to switch up what I'm putting out here. And I didn't have to call anyone an idiot. So, another positive. So, Hope you enjoyed that, and uh, I don't know. Let me know what you'd like to see if I do more flights. Uh, small towns aren't going to be very good to fly over because they aren't accurate with the photogrammetry. I think there's a list online of all the photogrammetry areas. kind of want to maybe uh, go back over to England and do some flying, or... Uh, Maybe the Nordic areas, because they got an update, but still some of the mountainous areas are kind of off. So, I don't know. We'll see. It might be a couple of months before I fly again, or might be next weekend. So, uh, hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.